subscribe to Ikeda channel and press bell icon to get updates about latest engineering, HSC and IIT JE main and advanced videos. Hello guys, in this video I have written some questions of locus questions. I will explain them to them how locus equations which geometric figure represent. So here, some standard loci in argon plane. Uh, this is the heading means because here there are some standard uh, equation of locus and may unko explain karunga ki wo kis geometric figure ko represent karte hain so um, already if pz is a variable point and a z1 bz2 are two fixed point in the argon plane so first one if somewhere written like this z minus z1 mod equals to z minus z2 mod so this is the equation of locus अब हमें चेक करना है कि ये किस equation आ, किस figure को represent करते हैं तो देख सकते हैं if I take this is z1 this is z2 okay and I join this line segment so आप देख रहे हैं कि z कोई point है वहां से distance to z1 same है from z2 okay so this only only a locus is possible that is perpendicular bisector okay so you can easily see that if i take z here at this point so this this distance is same this distance is same obviously from here also this distance is same this distance is same so this is perpendicular bisector so you can write this this is the equation of perpendicular bisector okay so now next अगर इक्वेशन ऐसा लिखा हुआ है मॉड z minus z1 plus मॉड z minus z2 equals to मॉड z1 minus z2 अगर कॉम्प्लेक्स प्लेन पे ऑर्गन प्लेन पे ये इक्वेशन लिखा है तो ये किसका लोकस लिखा हुआ है तो हम देख सकते हैं कि अगर सपोज दिस टू पॉइंट्स आर z1 एंड z2 ओके सो if I join this line segment, okay, and I take PZ here. So this distance plus this distance, they have written this distance. So we can say this is the locus of a line segment joining point Z1 and Z2. Means you can see this is Z minus Z1, this distance and this distance is just z minus z2 okay so here this is just a line segment so we can say pz moves on a line segment okay now third one if mod z minus z1 minus z minus z2 equals to mod z1 minus z2 if if you see like this equation so what is that so just say this is z1 and this is z2 okay so they are saying there is a point somewhere here that is pz so this distance z minus z1 this distance and difference of this distance z1 
z minus z2 they said that is equals to distance of this thing so this is ray z lies in a ray so we can say this is a ray okay now fourth one if i write z minus z1 plus z minus z2 equals to k where k is constant okay now what is this uh, equation represents okay in geometry so distance from z to z naught plus distance from z to z2 equals to some constant number so this is only possible in like suppose if this is z this is z1 this is z2 and there is a point z so this distance plus this distance okay this is always a constant number so this represents a ellipse so we can say this is one focus as that this is another focus s so this is pz so we can say ps dash plus ps equals to a constant number so this is the condition for a ellipse so above complex equation represents ellipse now similarly fifth one if somewhere z mod z minus z1 mod minus z minus z2 mod equals to a constant number where k is constant so in this case this represents a hyperbola okay because you can see this difference is constant so if i make this that would be easy so here if this is z1 this is z2 and this pz so we can say this is the one focus and this is the another focus if i join these two point so see this distance is always constant in that case this complex equation represent hyperbola so similarly there are many more geometry in a complex number so uh, let me tell you up z की जगह x plus i y replace करके आप उसे coordinate में ले जाके Cartesian plane में ले जाके solve कर सकते हैं and Cartesian plane में आपने coordinate geometry chapter में पढ़ा होगा कि equation of ellipse, equation of hyperbola, equation of circle how they look like so you can easily बता सकते हैं कि वो किसका equation है so यहाँ पे कुछ मैंने जो standard थे वो मैंने लिख दिये हैं और बाकी जो है आप z equals to x plus y replace करके आप solve कर सकते हैं thank you